Greetings everyone, I'm Shiyat Ali from Medicos Lectures by Shiyat and in our today's video we are going to talk about fat absorption, fat digestion, fat malabsorption and clinical manifestations of it in detail. So fat, it's an important component of our diet having protective functions as well as contributing to heart diseases. In most common form it's made up of triglyceride. So when we further zoom that triglyceride out, that triglyceride is made up of three molecules of fatty acid combining with glycerol. So our body has to break it down in order to get result of our desire. So the phenomena starts from mouth where we have lingual lipase and phenomena of mastication as well. So when we further descend down in GI tract, in stomach we have gastric lipase which basically decreases down the pH and increase the acidity. So that's basically greeted by stomach gastric lipase. It's still in form of triglyceride and it enters in duodenum. And what happened in duodenum? We have two hormone secretions from the name cholecystokinin and secretin. So what they do is cholecystokinin basically plays its role in bile production as well as in secretion of pancreatic enzyme. Here pancreas and bile gallbladder basically they also indulge themselves in activity of digestion of this fat. So secretin, secretin plays its role in bicarbonate secretion as well as it involves pancreatic intraluminal secretions as well. So we have bile involvement here. So what happens? Fat droplets or you can say triglyceride basically combined with bile salt and pancreatic lipase also play their role. So we form a structure which we named as missile. That missile it contain basically a mono form of glycerides as well as fatty acids, cholesterols as well. So what happens here? There is a very important point to understand regarding the circulations. So these fatty acids and phospholipids they basically absorbed from proximal jejunum in pterocytes. What happened? Chylomicron which play their role in binding them with intestinal lymphatics and then sending them to the general circulation. What happened? I again repeat that these mono and fatty acids they enter in, in proximal jejunum and their chylomicrons are already present and they bind them with intestinal lymphatics and from those lymphatics they will move out in our general circulation. While we have bile salt absorption as well. So that bile salt absorption takes place in ileum and it absorbs via the phenomenon of enterohepatic circulation. That's why we say bile it is stored in liver secreted by gallbladder liver store bile. So that's due to that enterohepatic circulation. A quick overview I again repeat from mouth mastication and lingual lipase from stomach we have gastric lipase, pH decrease, acidity increase and from duodenum we have still triglyceride form, cholecystokinin, secretin phenomena involved and after that when we further uh, discuss it down glyceride, triglyceride combined with bile salts. So those fatty acids they combine with chylomicron and absorb via general circulation from intestinal lymphatics while bile it absorb via enterohepatic circulation from liver. So that's how the phenomena again and again take place. So when you talk about the clinical manifestation, so person having fat malabsorption definitely is going to be pale because addict deficiency. Addict they require fat. A, D, E and K vitamin they require fat for their absorption while C and B they didn't require their water soluble vitamin. So we have addict deficiency, person is having pale diarrhea without flotance. What happened due to addict deficiency due to vitamin A deficiency, night blindness will be there. Due to D deficiency, ostomalacia, rickets and bone disorders. Due to vitamin E deficiency, neuromuscular disorders. Due to vitamin K deficiency, we have a tendency of bleeding increases. So 
when we further discuss the etiological factors because we say we have different organs involvement in this absorption phenomena so when you see etiological factors they are related to those organs like bile salt deficiency contribute to liver disease can contribute to cholelithiasis or gallstones can contribute to biliary obstruction pancreas pancreatitis inflammation of pancreas zollinger ellison syndrome in which there is an increase in amount of acid production amyloidosis in which there is an increase amount of protein secretions and productions and when we talk about mucosal defect so we have lymphoma which is a cancer celiac disease celiac disease is basically due to gluten diet it is an autoimmune disease and immune system attack on when person intake gluten and whipple's disease is related to vitamin absorptions so if there is defect so we have whipple's disease as well so that's all uh, guys from our today's topic of fat malabsorption and if you have any query you guys are more than welcome i will be there for you guys in and i just request you that if you are new to channel then don't forget subscribe medical lectures by shujaat thank you so much guys and in the next video we are going to talk about obesity and its forms so stay tuned thank you